Hey guys, what is going on? This is Travis. Welcome back to Coffee Computers and More and welcome to my living room. Well, it's winter time and I thought maybe we would do a little upgrade for the 2024 Honda Pilot that I picked up about a month ago. While it does come with some of the best stock rubber floor mats I've, I've ever seen before in a vehicle, and I do mean that, um, I think that we need something that's going to offer a little more protection. So the problem is here in Nebraska, we get a lot of snow and salt and ice and water. And when you jump in your vehicle, jump out, you bring all that moisture and all that muck with you. Uh, you know, in a new vehicle, you want to try to protect that carpet as much as you can, especially if you do care about resale value. And, you know, once you get that carpet dirty and wet, sometimes it can freeze and refreeze and it just makes a mess. And so I've been a WeatherTech customer for probably 10 years, if not more. In fact, I went back and did the math and this is probably, I'm going to guess set number five or number six of floor liners that I bought for my vehicle. So these are the original floor liners. They do have a floor liner HD, a second newer version that they offer, but these are the originals uh, made for the 2024 Honda Pilot. And while I purchased them off of eBay the last four or five times I bought them and got free shipping, even though they come from WeatherTech, I was not granted this luxury this time around. So looking at my invoice, um, the front set was, well, the front set and the rear set was $213.90. Now, granted, the, the factory Honda set front and rear is almost $200, so these are really not that much more expensive than the upgraded mats that you can get from Honda. And uh, shipping insurance was $6.95, uh, tax was $15.50, shipping was $18, shipping tax, didn't realize they taxed me on shipping, was $1.31 for a grand total of $255.66. Now, the other thing too is I have a dog, and he sheds a lot, in fact, he's sleeping right there as we speak. And anyway, he gets hair all over the place, okay? So if I've got these floor, li floor liners with a little more protection, uh, this will help keep his hair off the carpet. It saves me some time. It just keeps things looking nice. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go downstairs and kind of film the area where the original floor mats are. You can kind of show, I'll show you a before and after and show you the increased covers that you're gonna get from the WeatherTech floor mats. And one of the things I really like about the WeatherTechs is you can see how deep they go on the left floor mat. Those go all the way up the dead pedal. And so you don't get snow and ice and all that muck between the floor mat and the dead pedal like you do right now. Plus the upper one third of the left floor mat there is all covered with plastic. Whereas on the vehicle downstairs, it's just all carpet as you're about to see. So let's go ahead and get the car warmed up. We'll take the camera downstairs and we'll show you the difference, the before and after, and we'll go from there. Uh, a couple things real quick. It is a limited lifetime warranty. So... If these would happen to crack or fail and it's not due to abuse, neglect, or chemicals, then they are covered by WeatherTech either as a prorated replacement or a full replacement. It kind of depends on what WeatherTech des decides on the situation. I've never had a set wear out. I've never punched a hole through a set before. It's a very durable polymer material and it does last really well. Only bad thing about these is when they get dirty, you basically have to take them out and jet spray them off the car wash. They probably use some kind of special cleaner or dressing for them. And uh, I don't have that. So anyway, let's get down to the uh, passport and show you the original mats. We'll bring the original mats upstairs, do a side-by-side -side comparison. And then we're going to show you the uh, rear floor mat that I got too, because I got that from WeatherTech also. All right, hang tight. All right, so just to show you, these mats are dirty. I'm sorry, that's the uh, reality of the Nebraska winter. Uh, the mats are just cut along the edges right along here. Okay, they don't go up very far. There's carpet exposed in this area. This whole left side is all plastic that's unprotected. There's carpet back behind here that's exposed also. And on the right hand side, it doesn't come up at all. So we'll take these mats out upstairs and then we'll show you what they look like. So there's your front passenger. All right, let's go check out the driver's side. So what I usually do guys is I'll take out the weather techs when I'm done with the vehicle and decide to trade it. And I'll clean the weather techs up and sell them used. And then I put the original floor mats back on the car and it makes the car look even more new. So these are just nasty. That's just two weeks of winter time. That's all salt and dried water and stuff. And there's no, you see there's no protection around the dead pedal down there. It's all carpet, it's already getting dirty. Back behind there's already rocks and debris back there. That's all gonna be covered by plastic. Uh, right hand side, you know, you can see the edge of the floor mat. Uh, this is also gonna have plastic that'll go up the right side about four inches. And then also a little bit more protection in the back. All right, let's go ahead and show you the rears real quick here. So it's a little dark back here, but the rear mat is really nice. In fact, I debated even whether or not if I wanted to replace it, but the WeatherTech does go a little bit deeper. It does go up higher on the sides. And you know, like I said, the WeatherTech was maybe about 60 or 70 bucks total. So you do get good protection from the stock floor mat. In fact, I probably could have got by without it, but I do like the, uh, the, the WeatherTech mat. It's gonna go over the hump, just like the factory mat. And it's gonna be able to catch liquid a little bit better, have some higher sides. And so if anybody gets in the vehicle with you know, boots and ice and snow and so on. It's just gonna melt and get trapped on it. 
All right, let's go and take the stock floor mats upstairs and compare them to the new ones. So we're just gonna do this handheld just to show you, you know, so you can really see the significant difference in the size of these mats. I mean, the WeatherTech's on the left, the factory's on the right. And notice how a lot of the muck pulls up towards the top of the mat where there's no protection. All that liquid gets up in there too. So you can see the major difference between the two of them. And even the, uh, the Honda all-weather floor mat, the upgraded floor mat that's better than this one, doesn't offer as much surface area protection as the WeatherTech does. So it's pretty significant. Uh, let's go ahead and compare the uh, rear mats. I'm not going to worry about the passenger mat. I think you guys get the idea. One thing that's really nice about the WeatherTech, the way they're designed, the liquid kind of gets trapped in this little lower chamber in the bottom here. And then after that, you're able to just take the mat and just twist it off to the left-hand side, and the water just pours off to the side. So they're designed uh, in a way to basically trap liquid. All right, so why don't we go ahead and compare the rear mats, and then we're going to get them installed and show you the uh, before and after. All right, so here's the rears. These are the uh, stock floor mats. There's very little lip that goes around to contain any of the liquids that might get in there and snow and water. Okay. And then the uh, weather text, just looking at that side profile difference. Also, basically, the bottom of the, uh, of the edge here on the rear floor mat, that pretty much just runs right into carpet, so there's nothing really sealing off the carpet from the mat itself. And again, if you're in an environment where you have a lot of rain, a lot of water, a lot of snow, I think these are definitely worth the investment. And they also have just a simple little bracket that you just twist and turn to lock them into place. They're super easy, but it also depends on the kind of vehicle you, that you drive that really determines um, how they're going to mount in your vehicle. So, I mean, yeah, you know, square footage wise, these are about the same size off the back, but much more aggressive on the, uh, the lips and edges all the way around. All right, let's go ahead and install the rears, and then I'm going to show you the uh, after when we're all done. All right, so passenger side front, you can see how you have a lot more protection now, and it goes all the way up into the uh, footwell. A little bit of carpet exposure right there on the right side, but not a whole lot. Only real criticism I have is there's always like one little edge that's not just super tied up against it, so you do have a little bit of a gap right here. But also it could come from the fact that these floor mats are pretty cold, they've been in the garage. They just need a couple days or maybe a month or so to really kind of wear in and mold, and they will. They are laser measured, so they're about as precise as you can possibly get. All right, let's go ahead and check out the driver's side here real quick. All right, so on the left-hand side, you can see how we have most of that dead pedal covered, and you've got much more plastic coverage all the way up under the pedals. The right side's fairly tied up against the trim. The back side goes a little bit further back, and you have a nice, you know, nice little lip that keeps everything contained. Left-hand side, again, you do have a little bit of an edge there that's not 100% right up against the trim, and I do need to wipe the trim off, but overall, I mean, it does offer a lot more protection. You are definitely paying for it, but it's a good thing. Now, you can go WeatherTech crazy, and you can get, you know, a complete rear cargo liner and, and back seat protectors and stuff like that, and Honda also offers those. Um, I'm going to keep the rear liner that comes with the Trail Sport because they do a pretty good job. I like the Honda version a bit better. I am going to get the rear seat protection covers, however, um, that snap on the back. And so here's what it looks like. It goes all the way under that driver's seat and contains all that moisture. All that hair is going to get caught from the dog. Makes it super easy to clean up. I can vacuum it. And you have a lot more protection. And the lip folds up against the side of the carpet. You might not be able to tell, but it does push up against the carpet. So that does keep, again, keep your carpet nice and dry. So depending on how much you really care about your vehicle, that really does determine, you know, whether or not if you want to spend the money on them. I personally, you know, I've I just been a fan of them for about the last 10 years, and I'm just going to keep on using them, so that's, uh, that's pretty much it. So that's about all I have to say, guys. They are made in the USA, and WeatherTech has a massive catalog with a ton of products, so make sure you check it out. But uh, I'm going to use these for a while, then maybe we'll give you a report in a year or so and let you know how they're holding up. But I've been using them for, like I said, the better part of a, uh, you know, a decade. Never had any issues with them. So this is Travis. Thanks for watching Coffee, Computers, and more. And we'll give you more updates on the Honda Passport as we make them. We've got a small accessory coming for the center console. We will show that off here very soon when it shows up. All right, guys, have fun. Be safe. Drink lots of coffee. And as you know, we will talk to you soon. All right, bye-bye.